Time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coindesk, the State of Crypto newsletter. Hey there, Nick. So looking at Binance, they're being investigated by the IRS and Department of Justice, according to Bloomberg. CEO CZ is saying that the headlines sound more dramatic than the actual story is, that the exchange is cooperating with the investigation with investigators on bad actors. But what's the story here? Yeah, so I think CZ does have a uh, point there in that my understanding is, you know, there's no allegations of wrongdoing right now. This is similar to what we saw or what we heard earlier this year, uh, what I believe it was a CFTC investigation into Binance. So, you know, just because these agencies are investigating, if they're not alleging wrongdoing, then, you know, there might be nothing there. It could just be, a you know, a pro forma kind of thing. Uh, it could just be checking their boxes or, you know, maybe later on they're going to bring charges. but. You know, sometimes these investigations do happen uh, without necessarily the bringing of, you know, either criminal or even civil charges. Are, are they investigating uh, Binance.com or Binance US or both? Um, I think it's a little unclear. My guess is, you know, if they are investing uh, the company, they're probably looking at uh, Binance itself and whether or not it had business in the US either before Binance US rolled out or, you know, separately from Binance US after it rolled out. The uh, fact that, you know, it's the DOJ and the IRS, um, you know, those suggest that they're claiming that there was business done uh, without necessarily taxes being filed or, you know, income reported. Nick, did you find anything particularly interesting about the Coinbase earnings report or just kind of as expected? I think the big question I have is how does it take six weeks to list Dogecoin? Um, <laughs> I mean, it's been out there for a while. It's uh, you know, it's a fork of a fork of a fork of uh, Litecoin. So that that seems to be my big question: is uh, you know, is there a regulatory component here? Is there like a compliance thing, or is it just a technical issue? <laughs> 